Hi everyone, it's Dana from the James B. Brown Library, and today I'm reviewing a book that will be published in early June. It's Superhost, the debut contemporary novel by Kate Russo. This sweet, charming book was exactly what I needed right now. The novel focuses on Bennett Driscoll, a once famous artist who has taken to renting out his large West London home on airbed while he stays in the studio shed at the back of the property. Bennett is a loner with his ex-wife now remarried and living in America and his 18-year-old daughter Mia living on campus at the art school he also attended. So he becomes interested in the lives of his airbed renters, spying on the various guests who come to stay. The book spends time with each guest, a lonely American named Alicia whose friends ditched her on this trip, an artist with obsessive cons obsessive compulsive disorder named Emma, who has a strange obsession with the cracks in his walls and floors, and the beautiful divorcee, Kirsty. Each person brings about changes to Bennett, disrupting his routine and even inspiring him to create again. When the urge to draw strikes, Bennett goes to a nearby pub for inspiration, and it's there that he meets waitress Claire, who catches him drawing her. Back in the day, Bennett used to win awards for his paintings of nudes, but he more recently focused on still life fruits and vegetables. Claire, however, inspires him to move from still life to real life. Bennett and Claire begin a relationship that brings new life to Bennett and his career. He is painting again and entering art shows. Art fans will love the descriptions of Bennett at work and his color palettes. But there are a lot of women coming in and out of Bennett's life because of his airbed, and conflicts are bound to happen. And they do. This is a wonderfully charming book about middle age, love, loneliness, relationships, and life in London. Bennett is a lovable character even when he's clueless. I recommend this for fans of A Man Named Uva. This contemporary novel will leave you smiling and rooting for Bennett as his character grows and develops over the 350 or so pages. This is a solid debut from author Kate Russo, and I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be hearing more about her in the future. Add this book to your to-read list, and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.